Good evening, everyone. Welcome back. This is Prince of Sin here. And today we're going to uh, smoke swordfish on the Traeger. This is exciting because I haven't had swordfish in a long time. And uh, to actually smoke it is going to be a treat. And hopefully, we're keeping our fingers crossed, hopefully it'll come out good. But without further ado, we're going to get started. And uh, I'm going to be filming uh, this time and Giselle will go over the ingredients with you. So we'll see you in a bit. Go. All right. First, you're going to need olive oil. Any olive oil will do, okay? Then you'll need salt and pepper and a measuring, just the quarter teaspoon measuring spoons. And you want to buy pesto. Any pesto will do. It's under three dollars versus if you actually make it yourself, you're going to be spending several dollars. To which you're going to be mixing about a half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. Next, you'll be putting in some orange juice, about a quarter cup with the pesto sauce. And then you're actually going to just scrape the sides to use the orange peeling, which is called the orange zest. And then, lastly, two pieces of swordfish. This is what you're going to be brushing the olive oil and salt and pepper with. And that's it, folks, for um, the ingredients. Very good. Uh, I want to make one quick note. If you decide to do the orange juice versus actually juicing an orange, pick something like this with that has a uh, pulp or like all natural, like this, not from concentrate. Don't get the concentrate crap. That is the worst stuff out there. Get the all natural, like either Tropicana or Florida's natural, something with pulp, like this. All right, we're going to get started, folks, because we have a lot to do. Oh, excuse me, folks. Okay, folks, uh, I've already done it, but you want to rinse your swordfish off, and then you want to pat dry both ends, like this. And yes, make sure your hands are washed. I wash mine. Just like that. Put it down. Oh, the okay. plate's dry. Okay. And well, it's pretty much dry. And there you have it. Okay, we're going to prep these swordfish real quick for the smoking part. Okay, so what this is here, folks, is a quarter uh, teaspoon of salt and pepper just mixed up. We just uh, put them both in here and just kind of mixed it up. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to take our olive oil and we're going to brush the uh, swordfish. Both sides. We're going to get one side each. Just kind of... Just like that. Then take your finger and just kind of sprinkle the salt and pepper. Just like that. Until it's nice and coated. How's that look? Alright, now we take it. Gently flip it over, and now we do the other side. Ooh, this stuff is soft. Make sure you get the uh, edges too, folks. It's thick. Yeah. And what this does is it helps it cook better, along with keeping a little bit of it moist. Because no matter what you do, it's going to be dry. Salt and pepper. Yep. Push it real good. Yeah, push it. Wrong salt and pepper. Hey, man. I was thinking of the shit. Okay. That's pretty good. You don't want to put too much on there, folks. All right, we're going to take them out to the Traeger and get the smoking done. Okay, folks, start your Traeger to smoke. Leave it on four to five minutes and leave it on the smoke setting. And the pellets we're going to use today is alder. Nice dark colored pellets. Mm. Yeah. Oops, I'm sorry. Take our swordfish. Stick it on there. 45 minutes to an hour, folks. 
and then we'll be right back. This is zesting an orange. You want the, the orange peel, it's got the oils and the nice citrusy orange flavor. That's what's going to make the orange pesto zest sauce that's going to go over your swordfish after we smoke it. You want to lift it up to see if it's working? Okay. It's going to be on the inside, though. And that's what we want. So I'm going to get a scraping tool, spatula, and scrape that out. Okay. Into a small and how much of this zest do you use? Just the amount that covers the, so the whole orange. Hey. That that's, got, that's got the orange oils straight from the rind. Yeah, hey, that came out pretty good. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll let her finish, so we'll pause for right now. Okay. We're going to prep up our uh, little uh, blending uh, arrangement here, folks, and we're using the Magic Bullet. You already have your pre-made. Which, as Giselle says, is the best because everything is in that sauce. Garlic, herbs, you name it, it's all in there. Your basil, your... Oregano? Yes. Hmm. Your pine nuts or walnuts, whichever you prefer. Spinach. Pretty much how you make... There's your pine nuts. Eee, okay. So once we've emptied that out, going to add the orange juice orange juice okay the zest of that one orange all right and parmesan our shredded parmesan now this folks what we're making is the zest sauce Mm-hmm. You should smell this. Nice and citrusy. The orange. Yeah. To mix it, put the lid on. Make sure it's nice and tight there. And make sure it's on there. Yep, just like that. Okay, folks. And... Just kind of push it down. and just kind of pulsate it. That's it, folks. Give it a little shake there. Mm -hmm. Give it a little shake. There you go. That way you get the stuff off the sides there. And then pulsate it one more time. If it's a little too thick, you can always add a little bit of water or a little bit more of orange juice if you have. And there you go. That's going to be the, the orange basil pesto sauce that's going to be put over the top of the swordfish. Okay. Well, that stuff is done, so we're going to pause for now, and uh, we'll, we'll return when the swordfish is smoked. Okay. Looks pretty nice. We're going to move them forward here. Now we're going to close the lid, and we're going to increase our temperature all the way to high. And we're going to wait about 10 to 15 minutes and then we're going to sear them like steaks. Each side, about eight minutes. So we'll see you in about On 20 minutes. Yeah.
Okay. We'll see you in about 20 minutes. So we've reached our uh, high temperature, which is about 400. It could go. It goes all the way up to 450. So what we're going to do? Uh, take these swordfish, flip them over, and what we're going to do, folks, is sear each side for about eight minutes. Get some nice grill marks on there. So that's about all we can film for now. And we really are smoking. Check out that smoke. Did you get that? <laughs> Butterfingers. Yeah, this is a cool digital thermometer, folks. They're done. Okay. What Traders. temperature is they done? 140. Try not to let them go any higher or the thing's going to fall apart. But there they are. Now we're going to prep them up. Okay, now that the swordfish is done, the final cook, uh, preparation here. Just a little. Now, we taste it. When you uh, take it with the knife and fork, it should flake up. And yes, it is a little pink, but that's okay. That's the smoke. Get all that pesto sauce in there. Mmm. And you know what the best part is? It's really not that dry at all. The uh, olive oil kept it nice and coated, so when we smoked it, you know, it stayed uh, nice and moist. And then the pesto gives it. Because look how nice and flaky it is right there. So there you have it, folks. Smoked swordfish done Traeger style. Like if you enjoy it. <coughs> Excuse me and subscribe for more and this is Prince of Sin saying goodbye for now.